Good luck, everyone, in Cooperstown Baseball. This is our 508 box break. This is our little ID code that makes a video easy to find right here on YouTube. You can find the video when you put in that ID number. Everybody's picked their teams. John, yours is a little bit out of order. Just simply, wait a minute, I figured it out. That's why I wouldn't go. Okay, well, there was a space. I got it. I like to get them in alphabetical order if I can. There we go. So now you're right in where you should be. And let's get to the box break. Here we go with two Hall of Fame autographs. This is always exciting. A lot of times you can't jump the gun in this break. You really have to investigate and make sure it's that players for for your team, uh, because there is a lot of you know different players like Dave Winfield. Well, he was Yankees and Padres. Uh, same thing. So many players have two teams and stuff. You want to kind of hold your horses <clears throat> before doing any celebrating until it's official. Uh, and we do go by the cardboard connection checklist for this break. It's cardboard connection that has a better explanation for Cooperstown. So here we go. Let's get to the rip. Hello. Cooperstown baseball is coming up. Hit something big in Coop. Sorry for the brief pause there. Don't worry, you weren't froze. Just had to grab something really fast off to the side. I know somebody was thinking, oh, I must be frozen. Not now. <laughs> no, I just had to grab something really fast. Well, I've been looking forward to some Coopers down here and uh, hope you hit big if you got in the box break with us around here. It's one of my favorite cars in the whole break. It's not even really numbered, but it's always neat to see the Armed Forces card. And this time it's Larry Doby. Larry Doby. And that is a Cleveland card. And uh, so Larry Doby for Cleveland. And congratulations to the Cleveland Indians owner. Who in the world has the Indians? Is that a combo spot too? There it is. Yep. Austin. 
So Austin gets things going for us. Little did he know he'd be the next African American to play in the big leagues. Larry Doby. Nice. Tom Glavin for Atlanta. Brad W. Cooperstown induction. And here is the very next item coming up in our box break is an etched it is an etched and it's two players Paul Molitor from Milwaukee and Robin Yunt so very nice with this etch card for the Brewers Austin has this one too And now we have our first numbered hit. It's a parallel. Who? Don Drysdale. Cooperstown Baseball. Brooklyn Dodgers owner. Congratulations, Brooklyn Dodgers owner. And uh, that is going to be coming out to here for Joseph R. Drysdale die cut the next hit the next numbered parallel is going to be number two fifty that's a St. Louis And this, I believe, is going to be St. Louis Browns. I'm going to look into it right now. Jim Bottomley, that's old school right there. That's probably St. Louis Browns. No, it's St. Louis Cardinals. My mistake. Okay. So that's a Louis R. Congratulations, Lewis. Uh, he definitely looks old school, but he's not St. Louis Brown's old. Sonny Jim. <laughs> Sonny Jim. Nice. I like the nicknames from, from there. Here's another R Forces. That's unusual. I have two of these in a break. This one's numbered. And it's a, a Hank Greenberg our Forces, 21 of 25 for the Detroit owner. Hammer and Hank joined the Army in 1941. And that is, uh, that is great. That is awesome. Very cool. Hank Greenberg for Detroit, Austin. Who? Those are, those, those are really cool, man. So I wonder if he ever got back to playing baseball. Greenberg. Some guys, when they went to the Army and came back, they said, oh, I don't want to play anymore. I've served my country. I've done my part. <laughs> I'm done. A lot of guys quit after after war. Some of them came back like uh, Ted Williams came right back and was swinging. Uh, some of them didn't. Here's Frank Thomas. It's the big hurt. So congratulations, White Sox owner. Chancellor M picks up a one of one. And so that is really cool.
That is very cool. With your one one Frank Thomas chance. Oh, we got a nice autograph here. Jim Palmer on a Crusade card. I haven't seen a lot like that. A Jim Palmer comes out of the box break. Who? Oh, six of 50. I haven't seen a lot of these Crusade cards autographed. That's very cool. So Orioles, Palmer. Baltimore Orioles owner, congratulations to the box break. This one is for you. Who in the world has Baltimore? Okay, that is Joseph R. So Joseph, way to go. Nice hit. Nice hit. The box break. Our next to Hall of Fame autograph is Al Kaline. Ho! Cooperstown Hall of Fame autograph. The Tigers hit. Oh, my. Nice hit, Austin. In the break. And we have a Hack Wilson. Chicago. Hack Wilson. I'm pretty sure he's a Cub, but I'm going to confirm that right now. Yep, Chicago Cubs it is for the Hack Wilson numbered parallel. Nice hit, Joseph R., 12 of 35. And we have another Frank Thomas. This one's numbered just a 10. Green foil parallel coming out of here for chance. Nice hit chance. Frank Thomas, number to 10. The final card of the break is Luke Appling, and he was a cub. So, very nice Appling. You know what? I'm sorry, he's a White Sox. He might have played for both. I don't know. Let me see. I could have swore he was a Cub, but no, he's White Sox. Everywhere I look in through the product, and he is White Sox. Congratulations to Chance with this one, the White Sox, Luke Appling. And that's our box break, everybody, in Cooperstown.